Hi guys, welcome back. Today I have a get ready with me winter day out edition. I've done this for summer and for fall, so it's only appropriate to keep the trend going and film one for the winter. Just kind of, you just watch me get ready and I'm gonna show you my hair, my outfit, and this look. So if you guys wanna see how to recreate this or just watch how I got ready for this day, then please keep watching. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like Get Ready With Me's. Get ready, get ready with me, yeah. Or if you guys aren't subscribed, it would mean so, so much to me if you hit the subscribe button. Um, seriously, it means like the absolute world. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So to start out with the makeup, I'm using my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray and just spraying this all over my face. And then I'm using this Tatcha Luminous kind of serum, I guess. It is pretty expensive, I got it at Sephora and I'm just applying this to my face. It's definitely worth the money though because it makes your makeup look so much better when it's on your skin. And then lastly, I'm just priming with my Smashbox Photo Finish Priming Water. This is just so there's no foundation directly going on my face. And I'm then going in with my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Soft Brown and I am just filling in my brows how I normally would and I just sped through this a little bit because you guys see this all the time but I also wanted you to be able to see what I'm doing so um, yeah it's just this clip showing you what I do with my brows I just try and get them as even as possible um, sometimes they have good days sometimes they have bad days it totally depends so after I finish my brows I set them with the Anastasia clear brow gel I prefer using a clear brow gel but uh, sometimes like a tinted one also makes them look a little bit thicker and then going in with a little bit of concealer and just priming my eyes with this and blending it out with a beauty blender. Obviously you want to blend it out and this is just to conceal the vein so when we put the eyeshadow on it just looks a lot smoother. I'm then setting that concealer with my Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm using my Morphe 35F palette. I'm taking those two brown burgundy shades and applying those straight into my crease. This is to just give some dimension and make the eye look just kind of tie together, especially when you see in a little, I'm going to put shimmer, so you'll see. But I'm then going in with a darker brown and a smaller, more precise brush and just applying this to the outer third of my lid. And then once again, blending it out with my big fluffy brush. And as you will see right now, I'm applying some shimmer. So I just took the first couple shades in the Morphe 35F palette and applied that straight to my eyelid. And these are so, so pigmented. So I'm pretty much obsessed with these. Um, I just use a flat shader brush to apply those and then blend it back out with my big crease brush. I'm bringing those shades, the two browns I put in my crease in the beginning on my lower lash line. And then I'm also bringing those shimmers right here on the inner corners of my eye just to tie the whole look in. And then using the tiniest amount of liquid eyeliner, I, by the way, I just didn't show it, but I wiped out the fallout from underneath my eyes. And then I'm applying a little bit of liquid liner, curling my lashes. This lash curler is from Sephora, but you can get these at the drugstore really anywhere. And then going in with my all-time favorite mascara right now. Seriously, this is the best. I forgot how good it was. It's the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, and it's so, so, so good. Um, it kind of just makes it look like you have really natural false lashes on and I love doing this without any makeup and just like a BB cream and that's basically been my look all weekend so I love it and after I'm using my Holy Grail It Cosmetic CC Cream and this is in the shade Light and I'm just applying this with a damp beauty blender all over my face. It matches my skin so well so I am just dabbing that into my skin with my damp beauty blender as I said, making sure to bring it down my neck and apply it throughout the whole entire face so that we get a really nice even amount of coverage. And this product is everything. I mentioned it in my November favorites, but I seriously mean it when I say you have to try it. And then using my Too Faced Born This Way concealer in the shade light medium and just highlighting and concealing and then again blending that out with my damp beauty blender. This isn't an intense highlight or anything too crazy. It is supposed to look a little bit more on the natural side, but I am still just rolling with it, blending it out with my damp beauty blender, making it sure it looks as natural as it possibly can. And then I'm going to set that with my Laura Mercier powder and this more precise, kind of dense, 
tapered brush. I really like this brush. I just got it from Sigma. Um, and I'm just applying this to the places I highlighted. And then as you'll see right now, I'm taking a huge powder brush and just blending that all over. Um, I'm not letting it bake for a super long time. As you see, I kind of blended it out with my big powder brush right away. Uh, so yeah, I love doing that. It just lets the makeup sit on your face all night long or all day. And then I'm using this um, Too Faced bronzer and it's like the Chocolate Soleil bronzer and I'm just using it with a little contour brush, actually kind of a bigger version of a contour brush and contouring and warming up my cheekbones. I love this product because it kind of gives a natural shadow. I'm also bringing that on the temples and on my cheeks. This is just to make me look sun-kissed, warm up my face. I know it's winter, but you guys know I love being bronzed all the time um, and really glowy, as you'll see in a second. So then I'm using my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray before I highlight. I'm using the top shades of the Morphe 35F palette, and oh my god, wait till you see this. Like what? Just wow, wow. <laughs> so it is really intense, but when you blend it out with a beauty blender, I use my damp one, and it made it look like you were literally glowing from within. It is so stunning. So definitely my new favorite highlighter. I wish they sold these as actual highlights because it's the best highlighter I've ever used in my life. I'm so obsessed. So I just apply that to my cheekbones, to the tip of my nose. I'm going to apply that to my cupid's bow and really just make myself glow to the gods because I mean how can't you with that product it's so pretty and then using a little bit of chapstick and applying that to my lips and then taking a lip liner that basically matches my natural lip shade this is from makeup forever and I am just lining my lips with it I don't know the actual shade I'm so sorry but um I am just using that to fill them in and just kind of give some sort of color I'm finishing off the makeup with my Mario Badescu Rose Water Spray once again, and that's the finished makeup, and I really loved how it turned out. So now for hair, I was not having the worst hair day, so I just had to use a little bit of dry shampoo to give it texture, to make it look fresh, you know, um, and then I just played around with my fingers and kind of adjusted it to how I wanted it and it kind of turned out fine so yay for no heat um and it looked all right so that's the finished hair super quick and then for my outfit some pieces are affordable and some are pretty expensive so the top is from PacSun I believe it sold out I put it in my Cyber Monday clothing haul the jeans are from AG and then my shoes are my Gucci slides I got these for my birthday I know some people are gonna hate on those because I know they have fur and they're expensive, but I did get them for my birthday. I do want to get use out of them, so that's the finished outfit. Thank you so, so much for watching this winter day out. Get ready with me. I hope you guys loved it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe. I am posting every single day, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time until Christmas, so there's a lot of videos for me. If you guys have any requests for what you want to see for this month, please leave them down below. I definitely want to create content that you guys obviously want to see it and with that being said thanks for watching i love you and i'll see you guys next time bye